Now once these two got together, things moved very quickly and very naturally. And before too long, they'd moved in together and welcomed their beautiful babies, Noah and Clara, into the world. We moved in together pretty young and then... We've been together since we were 16 years old. Obviously had Noah pretty young and then just stuck with it and it's been good, so... So we really have, we've grown up together um, and experienced everything, becoming parents. And while things have changed a little bit since their school days, their lives are now filled with early mornings instead of late nights, and trips to the zoo instead of trips to the bar. Both Tabitha and Adrian are so happy in the family that they've created together, and they wouldn't choose it any other way if they had to again. As I'm told, these two love to do everything together, whether it be rock climbing, motorbike riding, or even just relaxing on the couch, they value every moment that they share. And after all these shared moments, knowing that Tabitha was the woman Adrian wanted to spend the rest of his life with. All he needed to do was find out if she felt the same way. I knew he was the first person that, that truly loved me. There's a lot of stuff that I probably wouldn't have done yeah, if we weren't together. If it wasn't for him, I don't know where I'd be. He made me better. Having seen her at her worst as well as her best, I've never seen her as happy as she is today, sitting beside her husband. Tabitha, you look truly beautiful and I'm so proud of the woman that you have become. You have achieved so much over your 25 years, AJ. And for those years, you and Tabitha have done <laughs> many firsts together. A first house, your kids, and living away from home. Most mothers and daughters, we have had our ups and downs, but I would not trade them for anything in this world. To be able to see my daughter marry such a wonderful man is something that gives me great joy. You get to choose how your life goes, and you get to build a marriage in a way that allows you to both be the best versions of yourself. We were... Uh, yeah, we just met up one weekend and then yeah, just liked each other, so we kept seeing each other. Yep. We went to primary school together um, at St George's Basin Public School. Um, but we didn't start talking to each other until high school. He was this kind of creepy person that just kept liking all my photos and all my old photos and posts on Facebook. Um, and then I had a few drinks one night and just thought, yep, I'm going to just message him. Um, and then we decided to meet up the next day um, for a, a, a date, I guess. Good afternoon everyone and a very warm welcome to the wedding ceremony of Tabitha and Adrian. We're celebrating the two individuals who have decided to cement their love by making promises to each other surrounded by all of the people that they love. Now recounting this very fabled event, Tabitha said he was so, so sweet, sweet. And kind and gentle. Um, and at the end of the day, he asked if he could give me a kiss on the cheek. And... She gladly accepted, which brings us to today. <laughs> I was just, no one had ever treated me that way and so kind and caring and um, I was, I don't know, smitten, I guess. The love they have shared for the past eight years has been a blessing to watch them grow and mature together. <laughs> you have both annoyed me more than a handful of times, but they far outweigh the fact that you've brought our beautiful niece and nephew into the world. 
Tabitha, I'm very proud to call you my daughter. You have grown up to be a lady that is focused, happy, independent, as well as a wonderful mother to my handsome grandson, Noah, and my gorgeous granddaughter, Clara, and now a loving wife to Adrian. I'd like to propose a toast. May your marriage be long lived. Let Tabitha make Adrian glad to come home and let Adrian make Tabitha sorry to see him go. <laughs> Every marriage is unique to the members of it. It's built from your expectations, your actions, your dreams and your thoughts and every unique element of you two is represented through your marriage and that's a pretty special thing to be a part of. Over the years, Andrew and I have had the pleasure to get to know Tabitha and we welcomed you into our family as if you were our own daughter. Together, Adrian and Tabitha have a beautiful family together and we're delighted for them both. They deserve a very happy life with each other. first dinner, I would never have imagined that I would stand here in front of all of you, family and friends, and raise my glass to the newlywed couple and looking forward to seeing what is installed for you in your future. I'd like to welcome Adrian to our family on behalf of myself and Sean and the Thomas family. Thank you for being a great lifelong partner to Tabitha as well as a loving father to my grandchildren. You and your magic, like infinite power. God knows I tried to resist, but you're pulling me closer. Oh, I gotta stay away, but you won't let me. Adrian, here's a few tips to make sure your marriage is successful. One, happy wife, happy life. Two, when you're wrong, admit it. When you're right, zip it. Three, <laughs> marriage is a relationship in which one person is always right and the other person, well, is a husband. Now I'm guessing there won't be any social distancing tonight after the wedding <laughs> and the honeymoon may consist of 14 days incubation, <laughs> a, a true test for any marriage. Tabitha and Adrian, on behalf of Angela and myself, your family, your friends, we love you both very much. I'd like to represent or welcome Adrian to the Kelleher family. I love you both so much and I hope you've enjoyed the night. Please raise our glasses to toast the newly weds. I love you both. Welcome to the family. To Tab and AJ. Do you, Tabitha, take Adrian to be your husband, to love and to share your life openly with him, promising to inspire and encourage him when life seems easy and when it's a challenge, when your love is simple and when it's an effort? I do. Do you, Adrian, take Tabitha to be your wife, to love and to share your life openly with her, promising to encourage and inspire her when life seems easy and when it's a challenge, when your love is simple and when it's an effort. I do.
as you present in this ring, you are vowing to love, honour and cherish it in all times and all places, in all ways, forever. The best advice I can give you is have a crack and be true to each other. I wish you nothing but happiness and success for your future. I have so much love for the both of you and I'm so proud of the two of you and the life that you have created together. Getting married is an event in life that's both a universal experience and a unique experience all at once. Marriage, as we know, is celebrated all around the world and everyone understands what it entails. Your marriage, the one that you've chosen this afternoon, together will be like any other. I love him more than anything and every day more so and seeing the love he has for our children. Tabitha and Adrian, you both declared in front of all of us here this afternoon your intentions to love, support each other, laugh and have fun the best way you know how for the rest of your days. So by the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Australia, it gives me great pleasure to now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride.